What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Molt Man episode. It is uh, that time of year, crappie season. So, got all kinds of new updates on the boat I'm going to show you about, talk to you about, and then we're going to go try to catch us some spree staging, some pre-staging spawning crappie, pre-spawn crappie, if you will. Uh, I think we're going to go deep today, but uh, before we get out there, show you a little bit about what I changed in the boat. Um, first of all, I got a new trolling motor, new graph, and all new battery set up for everything. So uh, we're running two Dakota Lithiums, uh, 12 volts. So we're running 24 uh, volt trolling motor, Minn Kota, four tracks, um, just like two steps above what I had on there previously. And then we of course had the live scope running to our new 12 inch Garmin. It's not new, I bought it used because uh, they don't sell these new anymore. Um, this is not the touchscreen one. This is the uh, manual one, but I love it because you get a 12 screen, 12 inch graph, uh, and you're not paying near as much. I don't. I haven't looked at them. I bought this last year and just now installed it, so I don't know what they're up up to now or uh, what kind of deals you can get and all that stuff. So, um, as far as the black box goes for the live scope, I am also running a Dakota Lithium. This is the first time I've tried this this year. Me and Hayden. Hayden rigged it up for me, but uh, the black box should be able to run on this for days and days and days. As well as the Dakotas running the trolling motor, uh, the trolling motor should run on those Dakotas for multiple days without charging. Um, and then the actual screen itself, I have wired to run a DeWalt battery. Um, just a simple little, uh, let's see if I can find it. this simple little guy right here I'll show you so you just clip this in right here just like that and then I'll run my Dakota with these little guys like that then our screen should come on Let's see what happens. I may have not set something up right. So, you have to press the power button, obviously, right there. And I did not have that pressed. So, press that. Graph comes on. So, we're ready to grow. This is another thing that I've never done in the jet boat is have a chair to sit in that I can run my trolling motor with. So, we're going to try that out today. We haven't, I haven't tried that before. So, let's see what happens. Let's go see if we can't find a few crappies. deployed Let's try to get all this set up where it's comfortable I got my live scope set right now I got the gain at 62 to 64 uh, our depth is 30 foot and I'm reaching out to 50 foot so I can change it that's what I love about this knob well that's my depth I'm still trying to figure everything out on this graph but there's my uh my depth and how far out it's uh, reaching. There's a little ball of bait right there. Um, and today we're gonna be switching off between the 10 foot ACC crappie sticks, uh, the seven foot I believe, and then I brought the 12 foot just in case because um, I didn't know what I'm gonna like um, sitting down because when I'm standing up I can, I can pitch or I can just drop down with a 10 footer or a 12 footer. Um, I heard they just came out with a 15 foot or two, so I'm going to have to, uh, try to get on one of them. Cause that would be awesome for the springtime, but, um, we're just going to try everything out, see how comfortable, which, which one's more comfortable sitting down and who knows, I may not even like sitting down. So I may pull the chair out here in a little while if I can't get on these fish the way I want to. Our wind's coming from the North, so we'll be pushing into the North. Uh, it'll keep our trolling motor or our boat lined up. Looks like there's a crappie right here. Looks like that could be a crappie. Coming up, it's right next to a ball of bait. 
right there. So uh, I'm gonna try this fish real quick and then I'm gonna slap the GoPro on and hopefully we can uh, stay on them and get on them. guys dropping down good drop here he comes got him nice big old slab copy on the old hand tie this is like a dark shad color but first crappie of the day beautiful big keeper crappie put him in the bucket I'm not sure if this is a crappie or not but definitely moving fast here we go got him that's a big crappie right there big old crappie Donkey. Another good one in the bucket. Dropping in on another. Let's see if we can get him to eat. Position on him real quick. Yeah, right there. No, not right there. Smoke. There he is. Another big one. Oh, giant crappie. Oh, that folks right there is what you call a slab. got to be two pounds or close to it that's a giant crappie next to a 12 inch graph that's a big one
go. Uh, let's see if she sees it. No. Not real convinced that's even a crappie. There's one. Down there above that bait ball. Let's see if we can long get a long oh there's one right in front of us. Let's see if we can get on this far one. That one in front of us go right there. That one real close. Let's see what this one does. Where she went. That's right on top of her. There she oh. There she goes. Oh, she budged for a second. There we go. There's a solid shot. Psych. Another one. <clears throat> Not another giant, but he is definitely a keeper. Let's double check. Let's see. Oh. That is a 11 inch fish right there. Never here in a minute if they get stubborn on us. Y'all let me know if you're um, if there's any way to film the screen on this graph. I know you can do it on the touch screen ones, but I haven't really looked into it uh, on this one. There's a copy right there. 25 feet. It's gonna drop right on top of them. That's perfect. Stop it right there. Oh, I was off of them. Off of them. Just too much. Just too crappy right here. Actually, let's see if we can get on this first one. He's kind of faced weird in the water. Let's see. Should be close. All right, now I think I'm in a ball of bait.
Well, I haven't had to measure one in a while, but I'm gonna need to measure this one. I got a broke eye on him. He's 10 all day long. Ah. Got a fish at 10 foot. We dropped on him once already. Let's see if we can get him to bite. Alright, we're sitting on him. There he comes. There he goes. He did want to play, and that's a good crappie, too. Big old slap. Oh, lost him right there. All right, let's go get these other fish. Look at him. Swimming back down right to that other crappie. Another big one. <clears throat> Had to kind of work out to some deeper water to find a few more fish, but <clears throat> the size has not changed much. Only got one in there that's even close to 10, and that's 11. All the other ones are big old females, so... It has definitely slowed down a little bit, but we have absolutely no wind. The conditions are perfect. There's that bite we've been looking for. Oh, <clears throat> not quite the bite we were looking for. These suckers right here. I was wondering why I saw so many of them. They're Running around like they're crazy. Oh, a lot of times those whites, uh, they'll roam too, but they'll be a little more sporadic than a crappie will. A crappie will just sit there kind of. You'll find the, the, the roman crappie too that are swimming and moving and chasing bait, but for the most part, if you see a fish, just balls of the walls everywhere it goes it's more than likely a hybrid or a white I only got one to eat oh giant crappie I've been saying that all day but I'm not joking guys these are some tanks ouch and that hook is sharp well <clears throat> it's dark we had a good little day of crappie fishing for uh first few times back since last year got us a little pile going didn't quite get our limit but got a good pile of crappie I'm taking back and oh no Ugh. my stringer busted Saved it though. Saved the day. So, anyway. Nice pile of crappie. In really cold hands. Those guys tucked in there nice and tight. Alright, I'm gonna load everything up. We're gonna head to the house. I'll see you guys on the cleaning table. All right, guys, doing a little something different today, cleaning these fish. Look how big that crappie is. I mean, that is just an absolute giant of a crappie. But we're using our old timer uh, electric fillet knife. This thing works wonders, and I've cleaned thousands of crappie with this exact knife. And it's not burned up. I haven't changed the blades. Um, it's been incredible.
So what I do, go right behind that pec fin, go all the way down to the backbone, just like that, and then run that blade down the backbone till you get to the tail and stop. Flip that fillet over, run that meat right off the skin. Just like that. Same on the other side. Just like that. And you'll come in and cut your bones out. Cut your ribs out. And that is a clean crappie fillet. Into the bowl she goes. Get these cats some treats. And that is how I clean a crappie. Is it edible? Mm -hmm. Good? Good. All right, guys, we're just frying some fish. I got a raging headache, but fried fish for dinner. Always 10 out of 10. Well, folks, sorry for the lack of cooking content. I was not feeling good at all yesterday, and I'm still a little bit under the weather, but um, the crappie are starting to bite, and it is crappie season officially, so uh, any days that we have with no wind, I'll be out on the main lake uh, catching them Roman crappie. And then hopefully here in the next two or three weeks, we can start catching them in the creek. So if you enjoy the crappie content, leave it a, co leave a comment down below. And uh, it's one of my favorite times of year after hunting season ends. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next crappie fishing video. Until next time, y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.